business. Jeremy in Palm Springs, California, listening on AM 1450. Hey, Jeremy, what's up? Hey, Tom. So, um, get another victory for the um, mega uh, Marxist, socialist, Stalinists marketing themselves as capitalists because... Once again, what we have is a matter of um, not free enterprise with the Internet uh, net neutrality being uh, torn down. But in fact, the public subsidizes and creates something that then gets handed over lock, stock, and barrel for no cost whatsoever to private companies. Right. Um, We did create the Internet. Yes. Yeah, military, huge subsidies to the semiconductor industry, um, almost all military and NASA, and yet again... And universities. ...gets handed over. And, exactly. and state it's universities. That, uh, yeah. You never hear them uh, complaining about those kinds of things when they hand over subsidies to large corporations like that. But all of a sudden, when the public actually wants to retain what it literally owns, then, of course, they make a big stink about it when suddenly it becomes profitable because they socialize the design and the uh, implementation and the risk onto the public. That's right. Which yet another piece of public property being literally stolen from us. Well, and this is yeah, this I, is I, this is where, you know, citizens against government waste, they say the notion of equality on the internet may sound reasonable, but net neutrality is instead an attack on private sector business models. Actually, what in order to say that, uh Alexander Booz, who is the uh, PR flack over at CAGW who sent out this press release, in order for her to say that or Leslie Page, they're offering them as as guests on the topic. In order to say that, they have to first assume that the Internet is not part of the commons. And this is the debate that we need to have. Most people in America don't even understand what the hell the commons is. But the Internet is our information commons. And it is because it is part of the commons, it should be, it should be you know, open. It should be neutral. It, it just like you know, I, I, you know, part of our commons are our roads. And, and you, know, you don't get charged when you drive on a road based on you know who's in your car you know it's not like you know hey you got a rich guy in your car we're going to charge you more or you know right. uh, so and, and why are we talking like you say about content because what this is really about is um you know these uh, like the arab spring is scaring the hell out of people information is you know like uh Jeff said to democracy you know what the air is to to uh fire actually i guess that was madison yeah. But that you know, that's their view. Information is dangerous, and it's been proliferated in the past decade because of the in- uh, internet massively, and that is a, a grave threat to hierarchy. And that's what this is really about. They want to control the information that we receive. Well, ultimately, I, I think it's not from the corporate point of view. I don't think it's so much that they want to control it as they want to they want to profitize it. They they want to monetize it. That's um, one thing. But the the you know in in China they do both they they make a mu- they make a buck off it and they also uh, you know the government is the major stockholder in most of these corporations in China that provide internet service and so they also say oh and by the way you know the New York Times had a bad story about us today so we're just going to cut off access to the New York Times today. Exactly. Um, well, think about it. I mean, poor people who um, have been on the brunt end of you know the economic um, you know downfall, for example, and the hierarchical structures, they're not going to have access to that information because those, as Orwell said, it's the proletariat that's dangerous. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's all one agenda. Yeah. I'm with you. Who said it's the proletariat who's dangerous? Uh, Orwell. Oh, George Orwell. Yeah. Of course. Of course. And uh, and in the Communist Manifesto, Marx and Engels proved him right. Um, thank you, Jeremy. Thanks for the call. We'll be back. It's 28 minutes past the end. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 866-987-THOM. Is today the day that the Internet died, and are you going to get over to freepress.net? Tell them I said hi and uh, do something about it now or not. 